an extension of the invisible college with the founders intending it to be a place of research and discussion the society today acts as a scientific advisor to the british government receiving a parliamentary grant in aid the society acts as the uk's academy of sciences and funds research fellowships and scientific startup companies the Royal Society is considered a secret society. The secret within all secret societies is that they worship Satan. Bell, I found it odd that all of these uh, obelisks, which turned into steeples, wound up having uh, bell towers. So I looked up bell, on, uh, I found all this on dictionary.com. I looked up bell, it says a hollow instrument of cast metal, typically cup-shaped with a flaring mouth suspended from a vertex and rung by the strokes of a clapper, hammer, or the like. Uh, it also gave zoology. It also gave uh, umbrella. Uh, now, it says the origin was from bell, B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Old English, B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and B-E-L. Uh... So I, I wanted to see uh, what all these things were. And it says, zoology was a branch of biology that deals with animal and animal life, including the study of the structures, uh, physiology, development, and classification of animals. Uh, an umbrella, a device for protection from the weather, consisting of a collapsible, usually circular, circular canopy mounted on a central rod. I guess that's where uh, the umbrella came from, was the bell. Uh, it says it's, the umbrella is something that covers or protects. Hmm. I guess that's the, the uh, song uh, Umbrella by Rihanna. Something that covers and protects you. Uh, symbolism for Satan within that video. Uh, word origin history. Bell, B-E-L-L-E. -E, uh, where where uh, the ringing bell actually comes from. The B-E-L-L. -L. It says it's a beautiful woman, well dressed, reigning beauty, 1620s, from Bell, from Old French, B E L E, from Latin, B E L L A, the feminine of Bellis, uh, meaning beautiful or fair. Hmm, beautiful or fair. I think that's something. Now, the B E L that it mentioned under uh, the ringing bell, heaven and earth, god of Babylonian region. Baal. Baal is Murdoch or Baal. Heaven and earth god of Babylonian region. From Akkad, Belu, literally, literally, Lord, owner, master. When you're in the church and you're calling on the Lord, that's who you're calling on. Baal. Baal. Same, same deity. Uh, all throughout uh, history, it's the same gods over and over. The names change from, from uh, one one nation, one nation of people to the next, one city, one town, one country to the next. It's the same gods, they just change the name. Uh, same thing's going on t um, today. Then I looked up Be Bellus in the uh, Dictionary of Ancient Deities, which is actually a, a very good reference book on uh, the gods. Uh, it's a, a very thick book, I think it's about 400, 600 pages. And it uh, basically covers all the uh, different deities, especially the major ones, uh, major and minor. Gives you all the names they were known by, all the um, places they were known by those names. And uh, basically, you can connect all of these gods together from, uh, from this book. But um, we're going to find that out later. Uh, Belus was, uh, of, un under the Phoenicians, was Baal. Belus, the king of the, of the Egyptians. Uh, Belus is the son of the sea god Poseidon in Libya. Uh, he is a twin brother of Agnor and brother uh, Lelix. Uh, his spouse, uh, Ankino, uh, uh, Baal, under the Babylonian creation legend of uh, Barosus. Uh, in the story of Barosus, Belus, who is the same as Baal, Bellus is Bell. That's where we get the B-E-L-L -L from. So when they ring that bell in these in these uh, in these towers, in these steeples, in these obelisks, uh, I guess they uh, 
they're summoning bail or summoning you to bail. Uh, uh, Rip Thella in half. She ruled the abyss and its uh, horrendous monsters. Uh, Bellas destroyed the monsters and created heaven uh, with one half of Thella and the earth with the other half. He ordered Kingu to cut off his head from his blood and earth, mortals, animals, and the five planets, the sun and the moon were formed. This is the uh, mythology behind it. I also looked up Baal in the Illustrated uh, Encyclopedia of Traditional Symbols, which is also a good, good uh, reference book for uh, ancient, ancient uh, symbolism. It uh, gives actually the ancient meanings and it goes cross culture, uh, um, cross uh, different nationalities, you know, Chinese, Christian, Buddhist, uh, Celtics, uh, to give you each meaning under that uh, specific culture. Uh, and, and it has under Baal the uh, consecration, the motion of the elements, a charm against the powers of destruction. The swinging of the bell represents the extremes of good and evil, death and immortality. Its shape is the vault of heaven. Hmm. Small bells sounding in the breeze symbolize, symbolize the sweet sound of paradise. The ringing of a bell can either uh, a summons be either a summons or a warning. Hmm. Buddhist, the pure sound of the doctrine of perf perfect wisdom in tantric Buddhism, the bell is the feminine principle with the dejor, dorji as the masculine. Chinese, uh, respect, veneration, obedience, faithful ministries, uh, uh, meritorious warriors, it averts the evil eye, uh, and wars off evil spirits. Uh, the ritual bell symbolizes harmony between man and heaven. Under the Christians, the sanctus bell announces the presence of Christ at the mass. I guess Christ lets them know he's there, and they ring the bell so everybody can um, come to the mass. Uh, church bells call and encourage the faithful. Uh, put evil spirits to flight. Well, I don't see that anywhere in scripture that we need to um, uh, ward off uh, evil spirits with a bell. So where is that coming from? Sounds pagan. Uh, uh, put evil spirits to flight and quell storms. The hollow of the bell is the mouth of the preacher. The clapper is his tongue. Hmm. Uh, the Greco Roman. Uh, bells were attached to figures of the Priapus and used in Bacchic rites as associated with the phalli. Okay, Priapus and uh, Bacchus. The, uh, the uh, mystery, the uh, Bacchus mystery religion, uh, that God gonna keep coming up too. We gonna uh, find out about Bacchus too, cause uh, he gonna keep he gonna keep coming up and uh, everything surrounding the church. Uh, rites as with is associated with phalli um, or phallus, Hebrew vesting veil with plum pomegranate are the quintessentials with the. Uh, Plumagranus as the four elements on the ephod. They are also suggested as symbolizing thunder and lightning. Bells also signify, uh, signify uh, virginity as they as they were worn until marriage. Uh, Hindu rank dignity it, under Hindu is rank dignity. The bull of Nandi is always depicted with a bell around his neck or a chain. As the yoni, the bell denotes virginity. Teutonic the the hawk bell is a symbol of nobility. The, the yoni has the yoni. We're gonna find out about the yoni as we go on. Uh, okay. Also, under the um, dictionary of ancient deities, looking at um, bell, b e l, the origin yeah. of the b e l l, uh, also known as Alin Baal, Bell, Belit, uh, in Enlil, Marduk. The title meaning Lord, the Babylonians gave the title to Baal Marduk, calling him Baal Marduk or simply Baal, which the deities of the Sumerians were integrated with their own. The god Enil became identified with Baal, the, lit, the feminine form was the title given to Ninlil and was the honorary title given to num numerous other goddesses, also see Alain Baal.
It's the Israelite way and we woke According to the truth, stay away from what's false Hey, it's the Israelite way and we woke According to the truth, stay away from what's false Hey, it's the Israelite way and we woke According to the truth, stay away from what's false Hey, it's the Israelite way and we woke According to the truth, stay away from what's false Hey, what's false? These religions we was given It don't matter what you in Whether Muslim or Christian Catholic or a Buddhist It's nothing but polluted And they can't be trusted So we treat them like Judas Y'all gave us sword So you know we slicing through it Before you pull it out First make sure you read it Cause some come in And they only stay briefly Blow with every wind of doctrine We call them leafy Caught up in the world When confusion at they front door Y'all's understanding Wasn't good enough They want more Mind getting twisted End up worshiping the Elohim Know these fallen angels Got they wicked hands and everything See, Chris society's